There is no better application for a radial engine than an aircraft. In either an aeroplane or helicopter, it simply is the most efficient way to construct an engine in terms of space and air cooling. Now it is rather popular to use turbine engines instead of piston engines, but let's remind ourselves of the beauty of an old radial shaped banger. Pratt and Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. With over 39,000 units made, the R985 was a popular single row radial power plant for smaller transport, agricultural and utility aircraft as well as helicopters. This engine was centrifugally supercharged from the initial 300 horsepower model up to the most powerful version and were created as lower displaced R1340s. Wright R3350 Duplex Cyclone By the end of the 1920s, Wright Oralentical was eyeing the possibility to develop a 1000 horsepower version of the Cyclone model. Adding a second row of cylinders, the 18-cylinder Duplex Cyclone became one of the largest engines to be built in the USA. The power output varied between 2200 to 45 horsepower with nitro injection. Always Leonidas. The first prototype of the Leonidas was fired up in the 1936, though slow development paced through the Second World War meant that it was ready to be sold after the war from the 1947. In 1959, its stroke was extended to 122mm, increasing the volume to 12.8 liters. It was the last high power aero piston engine from Britain. Ivchenko AI-14 The AI-14 was made by the Soviet Union on Ukrainian soil. It propelled a couple thousand of various light aircraft from the USSR, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Romania and China, as it was licensed widely. They stopped making it not too long ago. The engine usually had a two-blade propeller and was started by compressed air. Warner's Corp. The Warner's Corp was an American production with examples so reliable that they are in service in their original application even today. With such a low displacement, 
It was one of the smallest aircraft engines amongst them all, but it was enough for the lightest aeroplanes and even helicopters. Pratt and Whitney R-1440 Wasp The R-1440 Wasp, as the bigger brother to the R-985, was another successful engine by P&W. Like others, it was supercharged, and while the smaller unit made 600 horsepower at the most during takeoffs, the R-1340 was capable of such an output continuously. It was also commonly used in bigger aircrafts as a pair. Bristol Hercules. The Hercules used two rows of cylinders, which is not exactly an uncommon layout, but only the bigger radial engines were designed like this. With that, there were no valves, only ports covered by movable sleeves. The Hercules was one of many Bristol radial engines with 57,000 examples built. Nakajima Sake. The Sake was also a two row radial engine. The major portion of all 30,000 engines built were produced by the Nakajima company and was mainly installed in machines of the Imperial Japanese Navy and Imperial Japanese Army. Wright R1820 Cyclone 9 The R1820 was one of many radial engines built by Curtis Wright. This is the single row Cyclone 9 that was also licensed as the Hispano in Spain and Schwetzon in the USSR. This power plant was used in a single engine fighters, twin engine commercial planes and also four engine heavy bomber aircraft from as low as 575 up to 1400 horsepower. BMW 801 
BMW is a famous engine builder, especially for cars and motorcycles, but is less known for aircraft. They were in charge of many air power plants, and this is one of the larger ones. As with all engines on this list, it is an air-cooled unit with over 28,000 produced and was thus the most produced radial engine in Germany during the Second World War. 